What is going on guys? Kevin here bringing you a little League of Legends commentary. And today I'm playing Shogath. This is ranked pre-season actually. Uh, with a new season 4 layout and uh, everything. And uh, I'm playing Shogath uh, mid versus Katarina. I, I picked it pretty much to counter Katarina because I never play Shogath really. Uh, never mid. I play him sometimes top. But he's a really good champion. Like a lot of... Uh, Sustain with his passive, uh, CC as hell, silence, uh, sick damage, tankiness, you know, everything. He's like really, really a bannable character, uh, if you think of it. Uh, I'm gonna get quite an uh, early kill right here. I'm gonna get the first blood pretty soon because Katarina is pretty stupid. Look at this. I'm gonna hit my Q, ignite, basic attack, first blood. That's really nice. So about season four, I actually don't like changes at all. I, I I like the game how it is, and ah man, I just I don't know if I I'm a big fan of this. But ever since they released this new trinket system, people have stopped buying wards. They they rely on their freaking trinkets, and people don't care anymore. Um, I've gotten used to it, so I've kind of come to terms with it. But I still I don't know. Uh, Vice gonna come in for the gank right there, and Jarvan is gonna gank uh, at the same time. I'm actually gonna bait them uh, and run right into Jarvan, so I can pick up the kill. And Jarvan is gonna get this kill. Is he? Is he? Is he? He's gonna use the C and Q. No, he's gonna flash. So I think after the season four, this is preseason. Uh, but after the patch, I think they are giving a lot more gold to pretty much everyone. Like. The supports are getting a lot more gold. The junglers are getting more gold because uh, the camps now give more gold. I think uh, they are harder harder to kill, but uh, they give more gold. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, really. Uh, but it seems like everyone in general are getting a lot more gold. I mean, this game I'm gonna get like assists that give me like 200 gold or 150 or something. And it just seems like they're giving a lot more gold to players uh, for getting assists and stuff. I'm not sure because I haven't read the patch notes as I said. Um, so, however, I'm not... I just le leave a comment. What do you think about the, the, new, the new system? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? I think I'm not really that used to it yet. So, you know, sometimes I forget to buy trinkets and stuff. But I've pretty much stopped buying wards because I have this trinket thing. And I think... It's good for early game. I love that you can put out a ward and still be able to get like pots and Doran's uh, ring or Doran's blade or something like that. So you don't have to start with like wards and a sheep item. Uh, so that's really good. Uh, but I hope people don't stop warding just because you have a trinket. Because it, you can only put out like one ward. And, like I think three per, three wards per um, per person. Uh, it's the limit right now. So I'm gonna come in for a little gank here on in bot lane. Caitlyn is gonna pick up the kill and I'm gonna chase. I'm gonna chase people a lot this game, but I'm so slow so I can't catch up with them um, To hit my Q and it's pretty easy to dodge Shogath's Q. So I'm actually maxing my W. I usually do that uh, even if it has I think it has a longer cooldown but I'm not sure but it, it, it scales worse with AP but it's easier to hit. It's almost impossible to miss, and that's why I max it. I've always done that. You can you can max your E, you can max your W. Depends on what kind of play style you're gonna have. Uh, but I usually max my W, then my Q, and my E last. Riven is split pushing top. Uh, she's getting kind of raped in lane by our uh, Nasus, even if he's taking the turret right now. You're gonna see uh, in a while, Nas is getting really, really fed. Uh, we're 9 and 0 right now, so this is pretty much an easy win at this point. But they're actually gonna turn it a bit and uh, come back. I'm gonna force, uh, she's gonna force me to flash right there, and I'm just gonna pick up the blue right here and actually head back mid for some farm. And the things I love about Shogath is his passive. Like, you can stay in lane so long with that uh, mana regen and health regen you get from killing minions it's just fucking insane so one thing that they keep doing is changing the uh the the 
item icons, I guess, the icons for the items a lot. They change them all the time. Uh, they've changed the ruby crystal thing that gives you health that I'm buying right here. Uh, I think it's it just look makes it look a lot uglier and the icon image change they did for smite I just think it's horrible it's just ah oh, it does it it looks so bad I like the previous one a lot better Jarvis is gonna do a beautiful ultimate right here trapping everyone inside that thing and uh, we are gonna be able to I'm gonna pick up one kill Jarvis is gonna get another and I think I have flash I'm actually gonna walk up to the wall right there and try try to go over it but it doesn't work Nasus is gonna get another kill on uh, this Nami so this is actually my first uh, real mistake in this game uh, I see Vi alone at the turret and I think okay Jarvan is coming from the right we can definitely dive this guy so I have ignite I have my ultimate let's go so I go in Riven is gonna come stun me Vi is gonna turn around and here comes their whole team and kills me so that's that's pretty bad, but that's like my first death, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, so what do you guys think of the brush changes? They are made shorter in Season 4, uh, and I think, I don't know if it's a good thing for me, because I play needily a lot, and I love running through brushes with your passive, uh, and they've really cut them down, so it's, I don't know if, it, if it's gonna have a big impact. Um, but you know, there's some uh, brushes that you previously had to ward twice if you wanted full vision on it. Uh, you know, those big brushes between the blue camp and... In fact, I'm gonna show you a picture of it right now so you can see what I mean. Uh, you actually had to ward these brushes with two wards if you wanted full vision and that is out of the game. So don't worry about that. But they are, they're cut shorter and I don't know if it's a good thing because I liked the old brushes. I mean, even in, like when the game was released in 2009 or something, I didn't play. I started playing this game uh, quite recently, actually, a year ago or something like that. Uh, but I've seen old gameplay of League of Legends and there were brushes literally everywhere. Like there were brushes that protecting Baron you know right outside the Baron pit there were brushes and um, it was it was crazy like if Rengar existed back then that would have been insane so um, that was actually my last death right there um, just so you know I'm gonna rape people right now uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding but uh, team fight is gonna start here beautiful by Jarvan unfortunately we can't follow up and Katarina is going to ult inside it and finally I can get my revenge on this Vi who just recently killed me and she's going to turn around when she sees my Q and I'm just going to use my W. So that's okay and we are going to head for a little mid push. Here's Riven. I'm not going to do the same mistake. I'm not going to die of anyone. Let's head back and get Dragon instead I think. Are we going to move with Dragon? No. Okay, we're not. Um, I, I think it's kind of sad that the vision wards aren't invisible anymore. Like the, the ones who granted vision so you can clear wards and stuff. I don't know if it's a good thing because, man, they were awesome. You know, supports. It was a huge strategic thing to remove people's wards and stuff. And now you have to have control of that area if you want to put out a ward because it's visible. You know, if you want to clear other people's wards they are visible and you know it's a huge I think it's a good thing because like now it's not that easy to um, uh, to counter champs like Evelyn and Rengar and stuff because they also removed Oracle so I think that's a good thing because it was boring when you played like um, for example Evelyn and people bought Oracles and stuff like that or Teemo or whatever and people buy oracles and you're like, fuck, they can see me anyway. It's so boring. But they kind of remove that and uh, I think it's good. But the vision wards being visible, mm -hmm, I don't know. Uh, 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 they also changed the name of the, the regular wards to like uh, invisible wards or something. 
No, stealth wards. Stealth wards. That's right. They're gonna chase us down here really stupidly. They they can see um, Caitlyn is low on health and mana, so I guess it's a good idea. But when Vi goes with her ultimate on me, uh, no, it's it's not gonna work. She's gonna jump over the wall. Caitlyn is gonna get the last basic attack on her, and the fight is gonna turn around. We're gonna start chasing them instead. Man, Cho'Gath is such a good champion. A lot of sustain, a lot of CC, a lot of everything. Just, just freaking try him. I think he's definitely worth banning, as I said earlier in this video. Uh, sorry for not bringing up content lately. I don't know if why I haven't. I've been having a lot of schoolwork and stuff to do, so I, I, I wouldn't have been able to do it anyway. But because. I mean, I've had some problems with uh, recording with Fraps, uh, but now I'm recording with another program instead. So that's sweet. We're gonna kill this little uh, Riven. And I'm actually gonna skip ahead because I was just farming and it was a boring part of the game. So they're flashing right into Leona's ultimate stun and I'm gonna knock them up, dealing a ton of damage. So the reason we actually win this game, sorry for that spoiler, but I thought it was pretty obvious, okay? We're gonna win this game. Um, however, the reason, the main reason is because we got really fed early, but if you think of it, our team comp is really good. Uh, we have Shogath, Leona, Nasus, and Jarvan. It's just a naturally tanky team, and it's really hard to play against that, because Nasus has a ton of damage with his Q, even if he builds full tank. I'm kind of buying damage, but I'm still being tanky because of my ultimate, and I'm getting Sonya's, Rod of Ages, and stuff like that, so I have a lot of tankiness and damage as well. Leona has a huge amount of damage uh, early game, and uh, CC, also tankiness, and Jarvan, of course, damage and tankiness, so it's just, it's just a really good team comp. I think you should try this out. This is solo queue, and uh, I'm all almost actually in promo for gold uh, unfortunately I couldn't reach gold before uh, the uh, season ended but this season I'm gonna reach freaking platinum okay I'm silver one right now and actually lost a promotion to gold uh, but I'm gonna try to get to gold preseason and then maybe after the 10 placement games because I think you're gonna have 10 placement games when uh, season 4 actually starts because this is just preseason then I'm definitely heading for platinum or even diamond who knows I'm just gonna go golden mode here because it's freaking awesome and we're gonna pick up the inhibitor and head for the second inhibitor or actually the third so we have th three inhibitors right now and they have to defend so we can just get a free baron right now I'm gonna recall with 4000 gold getting that sexy red hat and Giant's belt. So they are actually starting Baron right now, or they've already done done it. Okay, they've already done it. It's done. I have 559 AP, and I have like over 4,000 health. It's just oh my fucking god! This build is so great. Try it out. Uh, so this game is coming to uh, an end. And a team fight is gonna start any second. We are. Oh, Namek is gonna use her ultimate. Uh, Katarina is gonna go in all alone there. A beautiful ultimate by Jarvan. Any second now. Look at it. Wait for it. Oh, there we go. Oh, so nice. I'm gonna get the kill. And uh, Katarina is gonna get another. She's gonna combo my ultimate with her ultimate really well here. And this is gonna be the end of the game. Victory for us. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, whatever. You find those links in the description. Just because I love you guys, I'm gonna give you some Christmas music because it's almost Christmas, right? I love Christmas. Oh my god. Okay, let's go!